precious puppies? It totally answers anything. I know. I know. It took forever, and I'm very sorry. There was a, so many different things on my phone that I was going to, like, pop up there, but they were too crazy or too short or too ridiculous to actually put anywhere on the Internet. Um, maybe I'll do a mashup. Maybe I'll do a mashup, and you'll be like, oh, that's how Lee lives her life. <laughs> Not weird at all, right? Why not? Um, I'm sitting underneath in a beautiful orange tree in the back of my yard. It's so nice. It's so pretty. Um, and yeah. So, I ready? Really answers anything. Where is the Lee answers anything? What's right here? Calm down. Okay, we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. I know it did take a while. Calm. You don't need to yell. Whoa. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> what is your greatest fear? My greatest fear is fear itself no it's not dying it's not any of those I, I don't know i know where i'm going so i'm fine it's not I, i've been there done that with the whole death thing i'm over it it's so last season um <laughs> no i think my greatest fear is not taking a chance is like not putting myself out there in the way that i want to be seen and in the way that i you know want to put myself out there it's it's not taking risks, it's not like, you know, I don't know, not diving off the high dive, it's all those different things that I, I don't ever want to regret not doing something. And sometimes in my life I have, I regret not putting myself out there more, not being more aggressive, or, you know, all those different things. So I think it'd be, um, greatest fear is realizing that I didn't take the chances that I was supposed to take in my life. So take chances, people. Um, except for when they, you know, require you to do something very dangerous and you don't have health insurance. In that case, do not take that chance. You can't afford to take that chance. Um, what is your favorite smell? Coincidentally, it's oranges. Like, not oranges, but like orange blossoms. Uh, the orange blossoms that I'm sitting under, which are so great, um, they're amazing. And they remind me of my childhood, where my grandma had a whole bunch of orange trees, and she had all these orange blossoms, and they were so cool, and they're so beautiful. And it smells like, it's a sense memory thing. It takes you immediately back. And it reminds me of, like, playing hide and go seek with my brother, and, like, my grandma yelling at us not to go upstairs and then like, you know, all those different things of like, like when we would like hide around the corner and then my grandma yelling at us not to eat the frosting and like, and then like, oh, like it reminds me of like, when me and my brother like used to go over this bridge and we thought for sure there was a troll there and then it reminds me of my grandma yelling at us to bring, to bring all the stuff back across the bridge. It's really nice. I love orange blossoms. That's my favorite smell. Uh do you have any pets? If so, what are their names? I do. I do have pets. His name is Bryson and he's amazing. <laughs> ah, isn't he so handsome? He's so handsome. Uh, Bryson is my pet and he's an ideal pet to have, really. Um, zero pooping. It's great. Can I ask you a question? You just did. So, yes? Yes. You can. If you could have a superpower with a lame side effect, what would it be? Hmm. I want to fly. Hands down. I want to fly. I don't want to read minds. I don't want to, you know, manipulate metal. I want to fly. And my lame side effect that I'd be okay with dealing with is, is diarrhea. Because it's pretty lame. It's actually kind of severe. A lame side effect would be like really heightened sense of smell. Um, that'd still be a power, maybe. Yeah, diarrhea. I could put up with diarrhea if, I, if it meant I could fly. I, I could do that, 100%. Or being allergic to beans. Be allergic to beans, and I could fly. It'd be amazing, right? Done. What is your favorite Tetris brick? Phew. I don't usually give that information away, but it's definitely the one that goes like this. Boop, boop, boop. That one. It's like an L shape. It's ideal. It's perfect. Um, Lee, I love you. You have to ask yourself. Maybe you don't. But I love you too. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I want to be. I don't know. I hope I'm grown up enough to say that I want to be, you know, something awesome when I grow up. But a friend of mine said that Amy Poehler said she wanted to be her when she grows up, and I kind of agree with her. I, too, would want to be Amy Poehler. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, you know, I don't mind being myself right now. I think I have a uh, slight neurosis, and I, there's a lot of stuff raining down from this tree right now. There's a lot of stuff. Um, I don't know. I, I would want to be me when I grow up. Or Eleanor Roosevelt, because she seems like a pretty badass. <laughs> um, 
If buns make horses, uh, how many bubbles make a fluffy? Okay, sir or ma'am. Bubbles, about eight bubbles make a fluffy. About eight bubbles make a fluffy, but buttons have never, nor will ever make a horse. Hands down, it's not gonna happen, okay? Nice try, not my third rodeo. Ugh. You're very, very pale. Is something wrong with you? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm, I'm half Irish. Maybe that's what's wrong with me. I don't know. <gasps> oh! Orange! Where'd you go, Orange? There he is! Oh, no!